are you? Oh, oh, hiya there, my name's Craig. I'm one hiya, of Craig. I'm having real, real problems here, yeah. I, I'm fairly well educated, but I can't read or write, yeah? Right. And, and I do know that there are seven principles that the government have stated that you have to act under in public life, which is honesty, integrity, openness, Even Chris yeah? truthfulness yeah. and to do what's best for the people well what's best for me at the moment is i'm dyslexic i can't read all right i have nobody to help me and i get fed up of people asking me these questions right and telling me right, okay. telling me to fill forms in when i can't i haven't got anybody to help me i'm on my own right okay. it's it's very distressing when i have public servants that won't answer my questions and when they don't okay. answer questions it means that they're trying to hide something please Okay. Right, so well, number one, exactly number yeah, one, right, number one, when I buy a brand new car, who keeps hold of the original manufacturer's certificate, please? We do. Right, you've got the original manufacturer's certificate, right. So, yes, I, because so that's what's used to register the vehicle. Right, so that, that document when I bought that vehicle was taken away from me by the dealer and sent to you, am I correct? When you, when you say when you bought that vehicle, is it, have you had this vehicle... No, if I buy a... I'm, I'm, I'm buying a brand new vehicle, yes. I need to get this in my head, right? Can I go and buy a brand new vehicle and insist that I have the manufacturer's certificate? You can oh. ask for them to send you a copy. But no, 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 no. Why can't... Right, if I'm buying a vehicle, why can't I have the original? Because we need the original to register the vehicle. Right, so can I, you've registered it now. Can I have it back, please? Because it's my property. Can, I paid for that. Record. So you can request Right, well, I'm back. requesting it now, please. Yes, we can't send it over the phone, sir. No, but can you send it to my address, please? The original document. I don't want a copy. I said you original. Do. As I say, you are allowed to request it. And right, we well, are able to send it out. I'm requesting it now, please. Yes, but it has to be done through the official channels, which is with a form called a V triple eight. A V triple eight. Right, so we have to have a V. So who v owns the number plate, please, and that number? So in terms of number plates, all number plates for any vehicle registered in the UK are officially and legally owned by the DVLA. Right, so brilliant. Right, now, legally, but thank not you. lawfully. Th thank you very much. For, so you don't need to... Right? Right, so the next question DVLA I'd like to ask DVLA plate. then, right, we've got You're some news on this and on your property. Right, is can DVLA, who is a company, yes, who is under the umbrella of the government, can they prove that I have a contract with this government, who is a corporation, and if they can't prove that, then there's nothing that I have to adhere to, is there? Once I get what the... You, what, well, what I've, you, yeah, you I've spoken to a solicitor who deals in commerce, yes? Okay. Right, and he who creates controls, that's the first rule of commerce, oh, yeah? Right. right, so you're controlling my vehicle because you have the original document, Right. And you're forcing the garages to give you them to register them. And you're paying the garages to register them. It's not a bad little business, is it? And I know, and I know for a fact in law, because I've spoken to a solicitor friend of mine who shouldn't really tell me this. I know for a fact that you are a corporation. I don't have a contract with you, but I do because I have a V5, which I have not been given, right, full disclosure on. I wasn't given full disclosure by the garage. I wasn't given full disclosure by DVLA. Right. So that is that means that that contract can be terminated because there has not been full disclosure. Right. You are saying I must this this document and I've had it I've had it read by a legal person and it's written in Hog Latin and English. Right. And one of the words that you use is must and it's underlined. You must. Yes, and that must in dog Latin underline means may. You may. So we've been tricked by a different language. Latin. Yes, we've been tricked by... Okay. I bought a car which was supposed to be mine and you own the original certificate and I would like it back, please. Because I've been... Okay. Because I've been, fra I've been fraudulently... I'm not, I'm not disputing that with yourself there. Did you hear that? I'm not disputing that with you. Back through official channels. Can I fill these things? Can I fill these things online, please? You can't do a VAAA online, it is a singular form. And where do I, where do I get this document movie. from, so please? you actually get the document from the Gov website itself, so it's www.gov.uk. Right. So you, you have these documents, do you? Yeah, they are available on the main Gov website, yes. Yeah, but you, you don't post them, them out, then? He's frozen. We can post them out. Can you post me one out, please? We certainly can. Right, uh, and I would like to send the number plates back. What address do I send them to, please? When you say you're sending the number plates... Well, you own them. I don't want to keep them. 
So are you looking to just surrender the registration for that vehicle uh, then? I'm surrendering the registration for that vehicle and I would love, not at the moment, but at some point, right okay, yeah, but at some point, I want to give you oh, yeah. the, the number plates back and I want the original, not the copy, and I speak in English and I say what I mean, original, I want my original document back that's been stolen me from me because I wasn't given full disclosure. Now, please, be honest, be truthful, act under the seven Nolan principles and do what's best for the public and inform them what's going on. It's a con by the government who are making a fortune out of us. Right. I've had enough of this, and the people of this country have. Our civil servants are shafting us, and they don't even know it. Right, if I get that original document back, and the solicitor's told me, I don't have to abide by your company rules. It's a company car, and people don't know it. They've signed it over to the government, using the garages to misinform us. I'm now going to be making a monetary claim against the garage that I bought a brand new vehicle from because they didn't give me full disclosure. They didn't even tell me that there was an original manufacturer's certificate and it was going to you, and they didn't tell me that it was going to be then a company car and I would not own it. And I the reason I know I don't own it is because DVLA have written Keeper. So I asked DVLA, who's the owner, please? Can you confirm? Can you confirm? Can you confirm? You're wanting to know who the owner of said vehicle I want to know who the owner of the vehicle is, because I'm the keeper. Right, that's, pla that's plain English, yeah? I, I, can, I can answer that. In terms of the keeper, that is the person on the I'm just going to... I'm at James's house. Behind keepers and whatnot. That's who keeps it. That's who keeps it. Yes. So the keeper is the person who is listed as being responsible for making sure the vehicle is both taxed and insured, and therefore right, right. But the only listen, please stop there now. The owner of the vehicle. No, the owner of the vehicle. You wanted the answer to the question, so I'm going to answer the question. Yeah. The owner of the vehicle is the person who has purchased that vehicle itself. Now, whether that be a company, whether that be a private individual, whether that be some corporation right. in a different country. Yes. They are the official right. owners of the vehicle because they therefore right. have got a purchase right for it and they have a... Uh, right. Usually they'll have possession of the vehicle. So I would like... I would... Yeah, but possession is only nine-tenths of the law, so that's a load uh, of rubbish. Say, yes. These are facts. Right. Mm -hmm. Whoever owns... This is commerce and it stands above law. He mm -hmm. who creates controls. So whoever's got that original document controls it. That's a fact. Right, so at the moment, okay. you're controlling my vehicle, which would make you the owner. And have you paid for this vehicle? So, no, you've paid for the vehicle. Right, so I'm, well, right, well, I'd like a document of my government to say that I'm the owner then, please. Or give me the original document. If DVLA, okay. like you, you've just I, said, I, I own I'm this. I'm happy to send you the request, the request form for that. That's not a problem at all. As I say, can I just right. check the address that, you, that yeah. you're living at? There, Eight Riversdale, right. Eight Riversdale. BD, and the postcode for that? BD2, yes. Right, so if I fill this form in... And it, if I... Check that your name is uh, Mr. James Holgate, is that correct? It's not Mr. Oh, sorry. Right? <laughs> That's a military title. And I am not in the military, right? It's the lowest rank, by the way. And I am not Mr. James Holgate in all capitals. That's well, my well, birth well, certificate. Well, That's the birth certificate. Well, my name is just James. You'd just like me to not include the title. That's absolutely fine. I can do right. No so can I say to you, once I fill this form in, you will send me the original document, will you? Yeah, we will process the request. It can take anywhere up to 30 days for that to be fully processed and for you to receive it. Right, so then I become the owner, then I will become the owner and the keeper. Uh, yeah, you'll have all the documents relevant to that, yes. Thank you very much. I will look forward to uh, writing to you and letting you know that I now become the owner. It's no longer a company car with DVLA, and I will be making a monetary claim with the information you've given me against the garage who didn't give me full disclosure and made me enter into a contract without my knowledge. Right. That's okay. They're That's facts. That is your prerogative, there, James. That is my prerogative because I've educated myself. Okay, not a problem. Thank you very much. Okay. I've just sent that through. You should receive that within the next couple of days. Or okay, thank you. You take care, James. Yes, thank you very much. I mean that as well. You're honest, that's you're open, right. and you're no, truthful, that's, that's, right? That's quite a I've religion. been, no, I've no been treated so bad by civil servants. It's taken me, I don't know how many phone calls to get hold of a gentleman you like you, yeah, who I have to admire, who's told me the truth, right? Your chi do you have children? Uh, I personally don't mind. Right, well, when you do have children, those children are going to be so proud of their dad because their dad actually speaks the truth.
Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, you flatter me yeah. too much there, James. No, 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 no. You've been honest and open with me, and that's magnificent. Yeah. And I wish you were in charge of DVLA. I can't write. Well, I, I'm at least a low-level manager, so yeah. I've got to start somewhere. Write. Yes, yeah. but can you see the questions I've been asking? And, and I, I, I understand exactly where you're coming right. from with that. Dog so right. I don't want to be. I don't want to be beheld. I don't want to be beheld by a corporation that's fraudulently by not giving me the correct information, they fraudulently made me contract with you, the garage. No, and, I understand, and I understand that there. I'm so in this situation, as I would say, we'll be able to send that information back to yourself, and we'll give you the, obviously the original documents and everything as well there. You shouldn't have any problem with that there. Uh, just get that request submitted. And do I have to send your number place back then? Uh, <laughs> Once you've gotten the original details hey, Terry, back for it there, got... you can then do so afterwards. It's a separate request hey, you then have to make. Right, so I presume uh, I can put my own number plate on then, my own, because I own it. James Holgate, one. <laughs> yeah? There we are. Brilliant, thank you very much. You're a wonderful <laughs> man. You've made my day. <laughs> uh, you're quite all right there, James. Wow. Enjoy the rest of your day there. Thank yeah, you. Man. You have a beautiful weekend. You have a beautiful weekend. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.